Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Nuke and Throne Ultra Mod. Today we are jumping in as good old Hunter. We don't have any different skins for this guy or anything or any other unique stuff, but this guy is a really, really fun character. Higher projectile velocity, higher XC and the ability to mark. Also, just starting off with a sniper is just a lot of fun. Also, I really like the fact that we now have the crosshair, but yeah, we can mark an enemy like that. We have a really quite, quite very quite bigly strong starting weapon, so very happy to have it. And yeah, just having higher bullet velocity? I don't know why I said it like that. I was like, bullet. Higher bullet velocity is good across the board. It's good for every gun. We are jumping in again. I am absolutely so ready for this. We're going to go scarier face right off the bat and keep the sniper uh, sniper good. But yeah, I think if we mark an enemy, it they take more damage. And I think we get some like auto aim towards them so if i do this for example i'm gonna aim here yeah and it still automatically shoots them so it's basically kind of a way to target lock uh, for extra accuracy and just to make sure we're constantly shooting the correct target uh, so it's honestly it's not super useful for most enemies but for bigger targets it's going to be pretty useful i think with that extra accuracy as well the shotgun's gonna be pretty good but yeah like big boys like this did you see that dodge that i just oh my lord that was actually incredible it also seems that because of our um higher projectile velocity um our shotgun shells are getting more range and therefore kind of bouncing a little more which is kind of interesting so yeah it's kind of like you just want to spam mark i think mark gets a lot better when you um have thrown but i think that's when it starts making take more damage and stuff um this is the Reload speed, uh, reload at 20% speed and increase primary fire rate. This is such an insanely good perk. Having your secondary weapon passively reload is already nuts. Um, but then getting the 30% boost in fire rate to your primary weapon is really, really good. Fire rate is so important in this game. It's probably one of the stats that is hardest to come by and most valuable. I really like getting high fire, but yeah. So as this character, because of the higher projectile speed, I actually think that um, shotguns are going to be kind of like the meta, so to say. I know that there isn't really such thing as a meta in this game, but I think we're going to be wanting to use shotguns, at least early game, a lot, because you can see how potent it's being. The triple pop gun, I think I will take now of my sniper. Now that I know my shotgun's so good, we'll take Rhino skin as well here. Yeah, triple pop gun sounds like it could be a lot of fun. Okay, let's just... This is kind of difficult here. I'm, I'm going to say a double shotgun. Yes, please. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Okay, this is... This is lovely. I am in love. <laughs> oh, now we need shot... If we can get shotgun shoulders on top of this, we are in for something quite special, I think. As you can see, I'm not really marking right now. It's when there's a lot of enemies, you don't... I think I find marking to be a little tedious and a little not super useful when there's a lot of enemies. It's kind of good for, like, bosses and stuff or, like, really tough enemies like this guy. But otherwise, I, do, I tend not to use it too much. This is incredible. The shotgun's so good. I haven't even tried out my triple pop gun yet, which is equally quite, quite amazing. Bouncer shotgun. We got it all here. Let's go into the throwing bolt. It progresses our scaling by one for getting um, better weaponry, so I'm very much down to do that. Yeah, so far so good. Two really interesting weapons. I just really hope we can get shotgun shoulders here. We are like a literal one pixel of one piece of um, thingy off of leveling. This is kind of tricky. Luckily, we got him. Don't blow me up. That was kind of close. Okay. Little bit tricky there, but we got we got it going on. I see you there, little assassin. Oh my lord! It's just like the destruction, the destructive power of what we've got going on right here. Auto bullet shotgun. Eh. Not, not quite the bouncy bounces that I, uh, that I need to sustain me here. Right. Got you two. Nice, nice. Come on, shotgun shoulders. Show yourself to me. Um, we do have puffy cheeks. 
preemptively load. Da, 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 da. Yeah, I think the preemptive load with Puffy Cheeks is gonna be pretty good, actually. I think this is the area we need to use to triple pop gun. Lots of enemies having a pop gun is gonna be super valuable. Get that ammo there. Kind of an interesting layout for a level here. Basically one one single long straight. And also, yeah, now that we've got the um, thingy reloading, the elbow reloading our other gun, Puffy Cheeks works in tandem with that very well. Okay, let's not die here, because I am taking some pretty bad damage. We got a Frost Flat Cannon there. That is kind of tempting. I think I'm going to go with Impact Wrists here. Okay, we got you. A little bit tricky, but we got it. I want to start at the fo Frost Flat Cannon. Eh, nah. The other, the double shotgun's firing so many more rounds. It's going to be a lot more potent. As, as much as I do love Freeze. Freeze, we, we proved in a previous episode that Freeze is an insanely good stat. This thing's nutty. This weapon is so good. Yeah, this weapon is insane. I'm loving it. I think it was the flail last episode that was really crazy. Yeah, this, this thing's absurd. I love it. Both of our guns are really popping off, to be honest. Oh, we already opened this up. Didn't mean to do that, but I'll go through. This will give us a weapon upgrade as well, so check out what that might be. Uh, we can go with Flame or Morph. I'm going to go with Morph. I think Morph is pretty strong. It can insta-kill some enemies. Might save us some ammo down the line. Also, just turning things into Sheeps is always fun. How, how did this policeman not die? Oh shit, I forgot about this guy. Where, where'd he go? There he is, there he is. I, w I wonder if I can morph him. I'm in a really bad spot here, to be honest. Okay, thank god. I had to just go for like a brute force approach there. You killed that sheep, you mean boy. I had to go for a brute force approach there because I genuinely thought like we had no cover, he could easily kill us. My god, lovely. We're blasting, honestly, quite literally blasting through the, 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 the stages here. Okay, Swarm Bomb? I think Swarm Bomb might be a new one for us. That's, yeah, that's pretty incredible. Swarm Bomb seems like our jam. Yeah, Swarm Bomb? Swamp Bomb's got some legs. Holy hell. Um, I don't think it does much for us, but I'm going to take Vault Marrow in the hope that it increases our Seeker's homing capabilities. I just love, it, love hearing those bleats every now and again from the sheepies. Honestly, destroying all the walls as well from impact wrists is pretty awesome. Just look at that. We just fire a few of these off. Takes out everything. Look at that. That's insane. That's insane. What we're able to do here. I love that triple shot we can get going on as well. If we let it over uh, over reload a few times, we get like a nice triple. Got, just gotta be careful for like bouncy shots that are bouncing off enemies. Okay, insomnia would be good. I actually think 
eagle eyes might be the best thing for us here. Just because it's going to tighten up the spread on our, uh, yeah. It's going to make this a lot more directed. Which, I know the, the spread is definitely a big part of why it was good. But the single target damage is now going to be so much more potent. Get through here. I just want another upgrade for my Seeker. Or, like, get fr Freeze for this or something. I don't know what it might offer me, but either way, I'm down to Clown with whatever it gives. We got Bouncer and Explosive. Yeah, let's take Explosive on this bad boy. This could be really potent. Good stuff. Okay. So we should have an easy kill on this guy. I'm not going to say 100% we will kill him because sometimes things do go wrong. But... This shouldn't be too bad. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was um, quite an easy kill. I will say. That was quite an easy kill. Okay. Um... Let's go with Boiling Veins as a just-in-case. It's not something I'd normally say, take. Ooh, they're heavy. Hunter Sniper. Interesting. This thing's carrying, though. This thing just carries. It really does. Flame Eraser. We did unlock a golden gun during all that. I don't know what, what golden gun it was, but we unlocked one. Oh, dude, that, that maggot just, like, thought, hey, I'm just going to climb up on you there. Yeah, taking eagle eyes was definitely the right decision here. The fact that the explosion does a lot of damage, too, is kind of crazy with this thing. Okay, so the further away you are from an enemy, the more damage you do to it. That's really good. Your projectiles home in on enemies. That's also really good. Enemies in your projectiles home in on your marker. And place multiple markers, fire at markers without extra reload time. Hmm. These are all really good. I think I'm going to go with this. Just have all projectiles home. Yeah, that's, that's really nice. I can see the effect of that already. God damn, just look at the amount of splinters that thing fires. This is nutty. <laughs> I love it. And because of... Um, Impact wrists were clearing out so many walls. Is Mum dead already? Did I? Oh my lord, Mum's dead already. That's insane. That's actual insanity. This weapon is bonkers good. I don't even know what Big Assassin is anymore. I can hear his music, but I don't see him. I think I killed him. I, ne I never actually saw him, but I think he's dead. <laughs> okay, there's going to be some enemies in here now. Get ready for that. Item drop. Projectile speed. I guess projectile speed could be interesting on this. Right, let's first of all check out our um, our trophy room. I don't think we have anything to grab from here, I'll be honest. I don't think there's any special bosses we've killed. Oh, we killed Big Assassin. We got plus one HP. That's not bad. Um, I'm trying to think, do I want to go and do the challenge? I think I'm, I think I'm good for it, but no. I'm going to say no for now, because I think this could actually be a, a good looping run where we actually get a good few loops in, maybe. It 
it's absurd how fast it just killed Big Bandit. Holy hell. Not Big Bandit, you know what I meant. Bye. I think the homing is making it, like, so much better than it was before. I'm not 100% sure if it's the homing, but I think the homing plus projectile speed here is just mean that they last for so much longer and are able to do so much more. That was close. That guy went for me. No chance, my ladder. No chance. I think it's because the projectiles continue to exist and deal damage even after hitting an enemy. So they can kind of like hover around inside an enemy and deal even more damage. Wear a scarf. Never. But like at the minute, we're at the point where we were able to kill stuff so fast through a bot again that we don't really need to worry. Frost is incredible. We'll definitely take Frost. Being able to freeze stuff we've proven before is, is invaluable. I don't think any of the bosses we just killed count, it's, count towards this as the challenge room anyways. It's the other way. It's okay, let's just get going. A bear head for me. Yeah, there you go, little hunter. <laughs> Love this. The thing is as well, we're able to kill so many things that are off screen and away from us too. That's like... The real sort of kicker here, yeah. The, the freeze is, is going to be pretty nuts here. I definitely think grabbing Bolt Marrow was a good shout. I don't, I don't know how much it's doing, but I feel like it was a good idea. Everything dead. Golden car thrower. We got a golden car thrower. That's awesome. Yeah, really my goal is just to unlock as many golden weapons as we can. Sometimes you see some projectiles from off screen and have no idea what's going on. I don't know if I killed that guy or not. That? Whoa, he died so fast then. <laughs> this, is... this is one of the most incredible runs I've ever had in my entire life. Legit, it's it's just insane how crazy this this run is. We just we still do have to be careful. There's still a lot of stuff that could just insta delete us. But I have to say, most of it has been rectified. Wrecked and tified. We probably could do with a better secondary now. What in the hell? I don't know what that thing does, but it used my it used my precious ammo, so I'm I'm gonna say no to it for now. Y'all ready for this? Yeah, that guy has a lot more health now as well. We just basically insta-killed him. Next loop. Let's go. What in the hell? Interesting. Okay. Yeah, we just, we just want to look for uh, gold monsters if we can. Also, we got to level 11 here. 
Um, I think Alkaline Saliva is an insane one to pick up here. I think we get one extra level per loop. It's the deal. Flame wave. I thought that was gold. It's not. Yeah, Alkaline Saliva protects from our first hit regardless of how much damage that first hit does. That was close. Like, if that truck could have ran us over, that wouldn't have actually dealt any damage, whereas normally that would have just insta-killed us. Alkaline Saliva is going to be super useful for that, that sort of use case. What up, mom? I forget there's now two. Where's the exit? <laughs> it said that we finished the boss. Is there an exit yet? That's a really interesting idea for a chest, that. Obviously, we don't need it right now. Infinity smart gun. Go. This is this is nuts. Is it is it gonna be double big assassin now? Nope. <laughs> nope. I love the fact that you don't have to kill the cars. The cars are like if you make it out before them, then you're fine. Here we go once again. This is different. Don't even know what I accepted there. I accepted something, I have no idea what it was. Probably should have took a look. We got... I think we go for Frost on this as well, just in case. I doubt we'll need it, but... Nice to have it nonetheless. Ammo there. Who is left now? Good, good. You're all dead. The preloading ammo thing as well has been a, a real savior. Okay, this is this is probably a stage where we could die if we're not careful. Because there's, there's really is a lot going on here. And especially with explosive enemies as well. I just love to hit everything through walls because the bouncy bodies are just destroying all of the walls. Oh my god. That guy dies so fast. It's beautiful. Hopefully we can make it to loop three. I haven't seen any gold weapons on loop three yet, so I'd be interested to see what is offered to us. There you go. <laughs> Didn't even know where the enemy was. Yeah, no thank you, car. I'll be leaving without dealing with you. Through there we go. I love the fact that we can shortcut through that as well. It's so good. Definitely gotten to the point where this has become a more complicated layout now. I'm just gonna leave straight away this time. 
I almost clicked random there. That could have been devastating. You never know what you're going to get with random, so... But, I mean, that's the whole point. You know what I mean? Like, there's so many things that could kill us. Have we got two little hunters here? I think that's what I heard. We do. We actually managed to kill them very quickly, so that's no problem. Onto the caves again. Here's that boy. Get that ammo back. Hey, there you go, we did it. <laughs> Don't worry about it, we did it. Get in there. Got to fire in the proposed direction of the enemy. Don't have to be super accurate with it. Oh god. What's going on right now? Why is the level not over yet? Oh, that's why. I was very confused why the level wasn't ending there. That was scary. Oh god. Oh god. That was close. Okay, those dudes have gotten a lot more aggressive. Yeah, those dudes have gotten a hell of a lot more aggressive. Okay, ammo's a little rough right now. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, the, the other weapon we have right now it doesn't even slightly cut it. Oh my god, go through, go through. Doesn't even slightly cut it. We definitely need a better secondary. This is Splinter. Should we go for Splinter instead of Explosive? Replace mod 3. Replace mod 1, yeah. Let's go for Splinter on it. Then it fires more Splinters, which I think is interesting. I don't think Explosive was really doing much for us. I mean, I, to be honest, I might be wrong. It might have been doing a lot. I should have taken the Infinity Smart Gun. Like, it's not an amazing weapon, but having an infinite ammo secondary would have been pretty useful at times. You alright, Fair? You alright there, even? Not Fair. You alright there? Get those leggy weggies out. I love the fact that the throne gets harder each time as well. Like, it does new attacks and stuff with each loop. Not just the same boss fight, but with a bit more health. Right, here we are. We're going to start seeing golden enemies and stuff soon now as well, so we've got to be prepared for that. We're going to start seeing a lot more golden enemies. Get out of here. Let's get out of the doodle. I just want more golden weapons. Drop a few more golden weapons, please. But yeah, golden golden enemies. I like the golden scorpions in the first floor that have kind of enhanced abilities. Whoa, what the hell was that guy doing? Like that golden scorpion there. There's like golden versions of all their enemies. Pretty cool. Honestly, the frost has been clutch here. Frost has been very clutch. 
We didn't get another level, unfortunately. We only got one extra level. I, I thought we'd get another one with each loop. I suppose that'd be a bit stronger because eventually you just have all the mutations. And I, I wouldn't say you're unkillable with every mutation, but you'd be hard pressed to die. That guy had a rocket launcher. I think Shovel Crash seems like my sort of thing. And with extra accuracy, we, we fire them all forward instead of in a cross. That should hopefully help out. Okay. Golden Splinter Gun, there you go. Damn it, there was a golden rocket launcher in there. I wanted it. Aha, you can't get me now, boy. I think, I think we're kind of somewhat okay to ignore the police a bit. I obviously don't want to fully ignore them. Whoa. Okay, we got to be careful about that. That's new to me. I don't know if that's something that's going to happen all the time or if that was like a rare occurrence. That was scary though. There's a golden sniper. He died pretty quick, but there was a golden sniper. Pretty cool. I love I love the idea of golden enemies. Get out of here, boys. Get out of here. And there's a golden one of those guys. Hyper crystal. I do wish they'd show up a little bit early game, but like obviously not too much. It might have to depend on the weapons that you have and stuff to make sure that you can actually kill them without insta dying. Oh, there's a go I think that was a golden car there. Oh, the golden cars are at least the, I don't know if you'd call them golden, but those are the cars that have the mega explosions. They actually have a visual cue to if they're gonna do that or not. That's good to know. They can like watch this. There's a golden weapon in here. There is. There you go. Oh wait, it opens. It gives you everything. Ah, oh, okay, okay. I thought you were paying for just the one thing. I feel like this could get me killed, but I like the idea of an explosive flail. It also looks pretty rad in my back. Oh, we're at the stage where we're getting these guys now. Those are the police that you have to kill, right? Before he even gets a chance to fire, he's dead. Love that. Yeah, I didn't know it would give you every single thing in it. That's, that makes them a lot more valuable now, I think. There you go, look. Golden shotgun unlocks. We, we just want to be opening them whenever we can. We do not want to go through that floor there. That would be very deadly. One of the alternate floors on a loop, especially this level of loop, seems like a mistake. We are kind of getting near to ready to go, uh, ready to like end the run, because I don't want to go forever, but at the same time, I feel like I've got to try and at least make it to the next loop. And get a few more golden weapons along the way, hopefully.
Okay, let's, let's chill here for now. Not so bad. Took a little damage here and there, but we're good. We're good. Jara Obliterator. No Jar Breaker, the Jar Obliterator. Yeah, this guy could kill me if I'm not careful. Blaster. There you go. Oh, this this floor is always the tricky one. Always the one where I get hit a lot. Yeah, I think big bats on this one, isn't he? This one's gonna explode a lot, be careful. Okay, we're good to go. Whew, this is such a crazy run. Golden Jawbreaker unlocked, there you go. This is the sort of stuff I'm loving. Oh, we, that was it, that was the stage. Holy. Did it again. Instantly open up the nuclear throne um, portal. The throne portal, we're going to call it. That was a fast loop, that was. Very fast loop. What? Heavy Sulga. I, I find it so odd that that, um, that chest can be like any tiered loot. It's like, I'm on like, going on for loop 4, mate. Sorry, but no, I don't want... A cursed slugger. And you can see how much more, like, how much his health has increased. Because although we're still killing him very quickly, he is taking progressively longer and longer. Oh god. I was in the explosions. That was really scary for a moment there. I was like stood in the middle of all of that. I hadn't realized I'd blown up a truck. Okay, get gone again. This is this is probably the most like the furthest I've got on like a legit looping run where I haven't... I did have one time where I got to like loop 6 or 7, but I, I literally had bugged the game and was completely invincible, so... Not gonna count that one. Like I tested it, I was... It's not like I had a good synergy that made me kind of invincible. No, I tested that I literally couldn't take damage. What are these new shots? It's like these little purple shots that are flying around. Purple and blue ones. Or pink and blue ones. These are new to me. Okay, we're getting a lot of suicide bombers now. I'm noticing. Please shock you, buddy. Out of course. You're good. Oh my god. <laughs> it's it's kind of crazy how close calls we're getting here. These these chests are really good for unlocking golden weapons. I'm gonna have to remember this in the future. 
See, I got hit by that truck then. Should have died, but saliva saved me. Big assassins just keep spawning and I just kill them in like two shots. Oh, about that one? Do you know what? That one did a good job of surviving. That one stayed alive for longer than expected. Beautiful. Yeah, those dudes just kind of spawn in and suicide bomb your location to kill them. Kind of a dirty tactic, if, if you ask me. Kind of a dirty tactic. Alright, keep it going. We're stepping it up a notch. Okay, these guys are going to bomb me again. Had to just get out the way of that for a second. Okay, this, this could be where we die. Okay, no, it's just spawning in a few waves of these guys now. I think we're all good. It'd be nice if it told me where they were. We're all over here. Okay, a little tricky, a little tricky. Stage just taking longer now. That's all. Oh really, there's a Technomancer here, is there? I never saw that. I don't know what's going on anymore. I'm just hoping for the best. That's all I can do right now. All I can do. God damn, I love the fact that, that guy's health never scales. That'll never get old. Killing him before he even gets to fire. That'll never get old. This is stress relief. We've unlocked so many gold weapons for this guy. Gone. Gotta do it before the next truck spawns and you don't have to kill all those biddly little ones when they spawn. We're here again. We're getting so many level skips with thrones, throne bolts. Kind of crazy how many level skips you can get with these. Why does it keep spawning me so far away? <laughs> I don't know why no enemies are spawning in there. Normally at this stage, enemies would be spawning in there. Maybe that was changed. Or maybe I'm just lucky. Okay, three little hunters this time. Get ready for that. I think that's all of them dealt with. The triple fire like that with the preloaded shots for the insta-kill on the truck. A thing of beauty. A thing of true beauty. It's good to have you here. Thanks. I feel welcomed. Okay, so this is always the stage that can bug me up a little bit. But let's see how this goes. Just because of those lasers. The lasers are pretty hard for me to keep track of and dodge. Also, the webbing slowing me down is not great. Nah, 
I like what I've got. Take the regular portal, most definitely. I will have to try and go to one of the ultimate ones, but right now I'm too scared, especially with the ammo that I've got right now. I can't just spam shots, but I'm actually running out of ammo quite badly here, so I'm a little scared. Good. Next stage with full ammo. Whoa! Who's firing the fireballs at me? Anyone got any health for me? No, sadly not. Get in here again. <laughs> oh, that's kind of, it's so cheesy that you can do that, to be honest. Like, it is kind of crazy that it lets you just basically, like, skip the entire stage. Because they automatically fill. There's, there's so many rads around to fill them, so they automatically get filled up. So it's kind of crazy that it just lets you say, cool, good to go, bye. That was close. I must walk right into that. I don't know why I even did that. Love this thing. He's getting closer. Basically, we're, we're waiting till he's, he has enough health to make sure I don't, have enough, I don't have enough ammo to finish the fight. Then he can get me. Golden shovel. My god, this is our last loop. If we if we make it all the way through this loop, we'll end off here. Because um, we've got a lot of golden weapons, and honestly... This has been going on for some time now. I think we've I think we've proven that we're able to to go through all this. We have two portals. I'm not sure what's the difference. I'll go through this one. I opened this by accident. Okay, that's that's different. That's good at least. Wait, what? Big fish? It said big fish, but that's not a big fish. That's a big dog. What the hell? What happened to you, sir? How'd you get down here? How can you breathe down here? I love that when you see like all the rads race towards you and know that you've cleared the stage. Even if you don't see that you've cleared it. You get to feel it. Normal flail. There's gonna be a few big fish on this, isn't there? Oh god. That was close. Very nearly died there. Yeah, these these shots are new. Ah, that was close. Almost killed myself with the car. That would have been a hilarious way to die. Oh, and now we're here. Okay, so this this might be significantly harder. We haven't been here yet on a loop, and it's like loop four now. What is it? Four, I think. Um, what, what just happened? I'm confused. Why am I here now? Why? Why did a jungle spawn in the... 
I'm so confused. Is that a thing that can happen? <laughs> what the hell? A jungle just spawned out of nowhere. I'm so perplexed. Like, what, what caused that? Was it an enemy I killed? Does that happen every time you come here on loops or? I really don't know. There you go, the stage is over. Somewhat. That was, yeah, that was, that was kind of strange. I don't know why on loops as well these areas tend to be a lot bigger. This one's actually fine. It's not that much bigger at all. Oh, I should have gone to the thingy room because we got, could have got some more stuff. I'll try and run for next time. That was close. I almost walked directly into that. Purple dragon. Oh, dude, dragon, can you calm down? Thank you. You're sketching me out there, my dude. You're sketching me out. Oh god, the, the sucky dude got me. That's not a Cheshire cat! What's going on? Yeah, okay, that guy demolished me, holy hell. <laughs> okay, this floor was hard. That, that's not a Cheshire cat, what's going on here? Anyways, if we, um, if we just go and um, left click to go back to the main menu, let's just check out. Yeah, we got a lot of golden weapons there. We got ourselves. I, I, I don't even know everything we got there. And that's assault rifle, shotgun, laser gun, fist, plasma gun, splinter gun, screwdriver, shovel, assault rifle. Um, I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know what that is. And a jawbreaker. That's that's a lot. Um, loop without picking up a weapon. Oh, and inverted little hunter in the game mode. Hunter only shoot when marked. Interesting. Okay, either way, hope you guys enjoyed this really long episode. And yeah, see you guys next one.